I heard the voice of God by doing these two steps. Step 1, read the Bible with all your heart. Step 2, hear what your heart is telling you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. This one was five years ago. There was this business that you ran. Yes, man of God, is true. We started five years ago, man of God, the business. And you caught me off guard now. So this is a sister? Yeah, I have a sister, yeah, she's my twin. Uh, we're born in the same day, same hour. You and that boyfriend of yours got together in May, May, June. Okay, and afterwards you broke up. May, May 27. So are you not surprised that I said May and June? Yes. <laughs> Do the checkup twice, but they can't find anything again with my heart. My heart is not good. So yeah. madam, who is Evelyn? It's my mom. Evelyn is your mom? Yes. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray wow. God. Wow! <laughs> no way! That's impossible! That's, oh my God! Make the words in the pages of the Bible to live inside you. Once the word becomes a living being in your body, you start to know God's opinion about all things. So how do we prophesy? It's like, it's like a stairs. But that stairs have six steps. When you walk up, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth step, all of a sudden, the seventh step appears. And that seventh step is the word of prophecy needed for that person. Blessed is the man who climb up to the sixth step and wait for the seventh step to appear and not give up at the fifth step. But sometimes when you climb up to the sixth step of the stairs, that seventh step will not appear. To let you know that, oh, okay, there's no prophecy for that person. This is, I'm just sharing with you some spiritual insights. How do I know the person's mother's name? During the ministry, I was climbing up the stairs and I reached the sixth step. I know that the seventh step will appear. I just know it in my heart. But I could not see the seventh step appearing for me to climb up. The Holy Spirit told me, to shift myself from the left side of the sixth step to the right side of the sixth step. Once I shift myself to the right side of the sixth step, all of a sudden the seventh step of the staircase appeared and I climbed onto it. Then I said, who is Evelyn? Man of God is my mother's name. So this is how it happened. So it's a parable. It's not all the time we ask God for sicknesses. Okay, Lord, where is the sickness located in this person's body? Is it in the hand? Uh, spirit of lust, this word is too general. Spirit of anger, nightmare. No. no. Sometimes God will send you to ask for that person's name. My sheep hear my voice. If you are not God's sheep, you cannot hear God's okay. voice. The reason why you are only able to say spirit of lust, anger, nightmare, uh, sickness in the body, stomach, headache, is because his voice is soft in your heart. Okay. Time. Experience. You will know. In the book of Acts chapter 7, it says that Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God. Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, I see Jesus standing at the right hand of God, but the Pharisees that were with him cannot see. And Jesus Christ said, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice from heaven came and said, I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. Here comes the key verse. The crowd standing there heard it and said, it had thundered. Others said that it an angel had spoken to him. So now the question is, why some people heard it had thunder? Some people heard that an angel spoke to him. Okay. Because you cannot hear God through your ear. You hear God through your heart. The Bible says that God is spirit. God is not a man. If God is a man, you hear him through your ears, like how you're hearing me now. But God is spirit. So we hear him through your heart. Okay. In the prophecy, is the evidence that prayer is taking place. Because everybody can say, fire, fire, ow, ow. Anybody can say that, but not everybody can prophesy. If truly you are praying for that person and God sends you to pray for that person, God will tell you something, a word of prophecy. It could be discernment, whatever, word of guidance for that person. If truly God sends you to pray for that person. But if I say, I will not mention his word or speak anymore in his name. His word is in my heart, like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones. I am wary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. It is the indication. You know, God is so merciful to us. He knows that we are humans. The level of faith. God can give you indication that this is his voice. 
and not your own imaginations. God talked to me in my thoughts. There's a higher level to reach for. You can see the angel of God. You can see visions with your open eyes. Not just in your thoughts. Is it God talking to me? Or is it my own imagination? But the next level is you see the television screen with your open eyes. And the higher level is to feel the fire of God all, all over you. And even a higher level is the angel of God literally entering you and do the works of God. You must experience it. Do not be contented with the little...